Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to copy a data from your on-premise to a cloud database. So assume you have a database in your on-premise, right? And then you have another database in your cloud and you need to copy certain tables from your source to target. And how to do it? That's what I'm going to demonstrate it today. If you are uh, new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss out any of the new contents that I am making. So as you can see, what we are going to do today, we have a data at your on-premise and we are going to copy to the cloud. And in order to do that, we need integration runtime that is to be installed as part of your on-premise server or the local server. If you are not aware, just click on the link that appears at the top which will help you to install the integration runtime, which is the prerequisite for moving the data from the on-premise to cloud. This channel contains a free content that covers the Power BI, MS BI, and fundamentals of Azure and SQL. Utilize this uh, free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. With this note, let's begin. So, I have my uh, server that is on-premise server installed in my PC and let's say I want a dim date right I have all these tables I'm not going to move any uh, all the all of them I'm going to move this dim date to the my cloud server in my cloud I have a target SQL database that is AWN target which is over here assume I'm trying to build a database as I uh, realize there is no dim date I want to move from a uh, one on-premise server in into uh, this cloud uh, database that is what my end objective how i'm going to perform it so let's go to uh, azure data factory as you aware like we have uh, integration runtime installed uh, here and then this runtime is linked in the uh, our local server as well that is in this case it is my pc and which is up and running now i have created the sql server link service as well so link service is the one using this integration runtime i connected my servers so all these things are prerequisite i have made as part of the azure data factory playlist if you come from the beginning you will understand why we need to create link services and um, other steps i'm going to explain that is data sets and my target database is link services over here that is awn and awn target is my database i authenticated using this so i have these uh, two prerequisites one is integration runtime and the link services that is also created now next i'm going to create the data set data sets also you can see this is using the AWN target link services I need a schema as well as the table name right that is the parameters I have defined so for my source that is on premise I never created a data set before so let's try to create one so this is my data set that is SQL server SQL server that is my on premise click on it link service should be this and the table name either you can enter manually or you can parameterize for time being i am entering manually that is dim date let's press ok so my data set also created now let's go to pipeline and uh, what is this pipeline i can create it like on promise to cloud oh my god on promise to cloud that's it and as usual we have copy data source Let's try to select my source. Uh, that is my SQL server table, right? 
and even I can mention it here any other uh, table for time being I'm leaving uh, users from the data set as well and my sync uh, my target it requires a parameter what is my parameter uh, let it be dbo and I need dim date here that's it so I can make it as auto create table if it does not exist otherwise it will fail so that's it these are the configuration I need to make now and let me go and ch check in my um, target I don't have a dim date but in my um, source I have used that uh, table which is nothing but this table it will pick it up from the parameters over here uh, I mean uh, the dim dates that I have chosen here okay so that will work now let's try to debug it so I'm just skipping uh, the detailed explanation why I choose source target all of them assuming you already aware of fundamentals of uh, data factory if you are not aware just go and watch my uh, playlist Azure Data Factory that will give you the basic understanding about uh, all other uh, stuffs. what are this uh, parameter for source what is the parameters for sync all other stuffs. so the copy data is successful meaning uh, my data will be created here let's try to check it out there you go I got the dim data in my um, over in my target let's try to check the data as well select start from dim date then I'm not sure whether it has data yes it has so it contains uh, overall um, somewhere around um, 3652 records let's try to run the same query in my source as well to ensure all my records has been this is my kind of unit testing 3652 records so that's it for now uh, I hope you like this video and if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset